But then the food in Kunming, yeah, that was the best food. I, I've never. What was it like? I've never been to Kunming. It was a lot of, a lot of noodles, like beef noodles, yeah. beef and noodles. That's the it. Best. That's what I ate for like <laughs> four days, I think. Yeah, it's China. I mean, because it's such a large country, like there's so many different food options there yeah. as well. I've I've never had Kunming. Shenzhen is kind of like. Uh, the food's a bit um, because it, they used to be quite poor there. It was just a fishing village. Yeah. Okay. So the stuff that they can eat off of it's a lot of like vegetables from like the lake, like wa like water mushrooms and and different types of uh, uh, root uh, roots, sea roots and stuff like that. It's a bit it's a bit funky. Yeah, it doesn't sound. <laughs> doesn't sound that great. No, doesn't go on my menu. No, no, no. So w would you? I, I guess now with travel bans, it's hard. But do you have? plans or intentions to go back to fine or where, where sorry to china or where could your next fight maybe be or it's just too early to tell it's too early to tell i got too much things going on now yeah. and, and probably not china because it's gonna be a while before yeah i don't think they're opening up until we're getting any visas there yeah they uh, i had i had a, a 10 year china visa and um then they just they canceled them all Really? Everybody. So if you had a visa to China, mine was a business visa. Um, they were amazing. You, you could get them like a couple of years ago and you pay like a couple hundred bucks. Yeah, I heard that. Boom. And then you have a business visa. It's just to allow people to freely travel in and out. Yeah. Um, but then when the C word hit, we don't know how YouTube bans us if we say the wrong word. Really? <laughs> but um, yeah, they basically, uh, after after the, the, the epidemic, yeah, they canceled everybody's visas. There's actually, I, I had about four friends living here that were essentially like, we had a little WeChat group or WhatsApp group going. They were just uh, refugees here. They were here for a full year and yeah. they all had business in China and they couldn't get back in. They're all living in Surin. Some of them had kids and like, and even there's a family here still that still hasn't gotten back in. Yeah. I got a couple of friends that do it, that travel into Hong Kong for a pilot job. So yeah. they're doing 21 day, days quarantine there. Yeah, it's crazy. In a room, like. Well, no, there, have you seen the one by the Hong Kong airport? It's just a, like a giant warehouse. And yeah. And they put dividers. Yeah, but they, they haven't been that bad. It's been like a tiny room with a bed. 21 days. 21 days. My God. I will lose my shit. For full episodes, visit our YouTube channel, Fruiting Body Podcast.